So this is a 2003 V70 with a D5 engine. So that's the first generation of the D5s, which is uh, 120 kilowatts. And the problem here is that it uh, has a really long start. So when it's cold, it doesn't doesn't want to start. Quite often on these engines, um, first thing basically you want to do is uh, measure the injector returns so to see how much fuel passes the injector the problem there is if, if one of the injectors leaks too much air too much fuel back uh, it just won't reach the pressure in the in the high pressure manifold and uh, yeah it just won't start so i'll just do this as a one long video uh, and I'll just show you, uh, it's really, quite really simple to do, to test this. For, for this, uh, what we're going to use is, uh, is uh, just a test, basically tubes. You, If you really want, you can make them yourselves. And uh, yeah, so I'll just quickly show you how it's done. So the return lines are the ones on top of the injectors. So I'll just uh, quickly clean them a little bit. So to remove them. So you have to remove these small clips, just pull them off. So it's just a clip like this. Remove all of them. Now, before you pull them off, it's good to add some kind of lubricant, uh, maybe 40 or something like that. Uh, otherwise, you might damage the small O-rings there, and quite often it's rusty on the top, so it's good a good idea to add something in there. And just slightly move them and they just pop off like this. So you remove all of them and then you can <coughs> just remove the line and put it on the side here. Later on we'll just put it in a tube uh, because sometimes it leaks a little bit of fuel out from here as well. Now what we'll do we will take the testing kit and just take the first hose so this is meant for six cylinder so we're not going to use the first one um, use the second one just pop them in one by one oops that was wrong one goes here this one here four and five 
So now I'll add the clips back on there. Put the clips back. You can actually put the clip in first, then. Sure, they're all <coughs> all in. Then it's a good idea to hang it somewhere, which I can't do. So the first one will be here. Second one. There we go. Okay. Just gonna use it here, like this. Put a container here so if it leaks something okay now what we want to do is just start the engine and by Volvo specifications if you run the engine for one minute you can maximum what you can have is 40 milliliters in from one uh, injector uh, basically Quite often you don't even have to measure it, uh, but you'll just uh, see the difference. And uh, it can be just one or two injectors which are too uh, leaking back too much. So I'll just start the engine if it starts, and we'll see what we're gonna get. Okay, it's already like 60 milliliters and it's probably been running for like 20 seconds. So you can see the cylinder uh, injector number 5 is definitely 40, so I have to turn it off otherwise it's going over.
Okay, you can see the rest of them didn't even start filling the tops. So yeah, uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with replacing injector number five. And this will most likely sort out the not starting issue. Yeah, so it's it's as as simple as this. Uh, what you want to do, you probably want to, once you're done, you probably want to change these O-rings. So just these tiny O-rings that sit down here. It's a good idea to replace them. And another thing with these clips, you want to make sure when you clip them on that they don't move, that they're tight. So if they're loose, you want to just pinch them together a little bit so, so they remain tight. Otherwise, what can happen, uh, these can come off, it'll leak fuel on the exhaust and it can burn your, burn your car down. So yeah, this, this is basically to replace the injector. You're gonna have to, there's two screws on each side of the injector, which you have to remove. First of all, it has to be all clean so nothing falls in. You remove the high pressure line and then you can get to the injector. Quite often they are extremely tight in here and I'd say it's probably gonna be the case with this one as well. So this, this is basically it.